In this video, we'll show you how to record and export data using Google's Science Journal app. Note that in order for the export feature to be available, the user who installed the app must be over 13 years of age. To record data, open an experiment and open the sensor you need. We'll use the light sensor as an example, and the other videos in this series will go over how all the sensors work in more detail. You can press the snapshot button in the lower left to take a single reading at one point in time. You can press the record button to start recording data, do your experiment, and then press the record button again to stop recording. Swipe down on the gray bar to open your recorded data full screen in the top half of the app. Your snapshot and your recording will appear automatically, and you can tap either one to open it and view it in more detail. Here, you can rename the recording by clicking the pencil icon at the top, view individual data points by dragging the slider on the x-axis of the graph, and add notes to your timeline. You can crop the data by selecting the three-dot menu in the upper right, and then selecting Crop. Drag the sliders to the part of the data you want to keep, and then select the check mark. You can export data by selecting the three-dot menu in the upper right, and then tapping Share. Check the relative time checkbox to make the time column in your data start at zero. If you don't check it, the time will be in Unix time, which starts on January 1st, 1970. Then, tap Share, and you can share a comma-separated variable, or CSV file, using a method of your choice. This file can be opened in a spreadsheet program like Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets for graphing and data analysis. The first column will be time in milliseconds, and the second column will be the sensor reading. The units of the second column will depend on which sensor you are using. To learn more about Google's Science Journal app and see a list of fun experiments you can do with the app, click the link at the end of this video. To learn more about the other sensors, view the other videos in this playlist.